Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Copycat Friday! Now this is a series where we break down the effects or video techniques from a music clip or film. Today, however, we're taking a look at YouTube creator Kevin Perry. Now he has made this fun video where it seems like he lives like a giant in his house. He also explains how he did it and you can find that original video in the description below. And today we're having big support by Rocketstock. Now we have been using their transition pack Prism for a little while now and it's been absolutely amazing. I love to use these drag and drop elements on promotional videos after movies or music clips. They add a great dynamic to your project and can be used in any professional video editor just like Premiere Pro. Definitely make sure to check it out, you can do so by clicking the first link in the description below. Alright, let's create some giants. First up, we'll create the giant in his house. And this starts with a normal shot from our garage port, which is going open. Important is that you film this from a tripod, as we're going to composite another shot into it. Next up, we took out a large carton box in which Janik the Giant took place. Now, to keep the lighting conditions the same, we also placed this box in front of the garage. Now, very important is that we keep the perspectives the same. Now, Kevin placed a foil on a screen, but you can also just use a water marker. Simply draw the perspective lines of the garage on your monitor. Then we switch back to record mode, position that carton box so that it fits within that size and perspective. Again, film from your tripod and then take the two shots into Premiere Pro. Drag the shot of the garage port opening in your timeline and head over to the opacity property. Now from here you want to click on the pen tool to create a mask. Simply draw a mask around the opening of the garage. When you're done, you want to click on Invert under the Mask Properties. At the point where the garage opens and closes, you want to animate your mask with it. Enable the animation for the Mask Path property and adjust your mask as the garage port opens and after that also closes. Now, Since we're going to speed up the opening of the gate, we're going to nest this layer. Right click on the clip and say Nest. Move the nested sequence to track number 2 and drag the clip of yourself sitting in the box underneath that on track 1. You might need to adjust the scaling and position it a tiny bit to get the clip right in place. If you notice that your mask is too visible, you might want to go back into your mask properties and play around with the expansion or feather. I'm going to take a duplication of the nest by holding down my ALT key and dragging it to the channel above. You might want to disable this track as well as we'll use it later. Then I cut the part where the garage opens on the first nested sequence. It takes much longer than Genix movement, so from the toolbox, take the Rate Stretch tool and compress the part where the gate opens to speed it up. You might want to play this back and adjust your speed percentage a couple of times to get it right. Now do the same thing for when the garage closes and that should leave you with this result. There's probably one thing that you notice and that is the part where we've speeded up the clip. It doesn't look so natural and that is because of the surrounding. Clouds will move faster as well or wind through the leaves and that's why we've duplicated this nested sequence. I'm going to enable that layer again and draw a rough mask around the gate. Now, from the properties you probably want to feather this a bunch and of course invert the mask. Now the surrendering stays at normal speeds while only the gate goes open and closes at a speed difference. Now when Jenny the Giant comes to visit the office, we did the exact same thing. Now to make it yourself easy, make sure to remove anything that is hanging in front of the window. That way we can simply create a rectangle mask like we've done with the garage port. Now, it wasn't important how the perspective was with the second shot of Jenny standing close to the camera. What is important though is that you retain the same focal length as with the shot of the window. Do try to have a far distance background and that the height of the camera kind of matches. To make it more realistic, I closed my aperture to increase the depth of field. Else the background would have been too much out of focus. So after we brought everything inside Premiere Pro, we noticed that it wasn't looking too natural. This was mainly because of the lighting. Having such a giant standing in front of your window should create large shadows. So we took the shot of the window again and this time we had a large flag to block the lighting. We tried to mimic the movement of Janik so that the shadows would also match. And this already gave us a much better result. But there is still one thing missing and that is a reflection in the window. But that is easily fixed. We filmed the opposite side of the room and it even works out better if you have some lighting on. 
Then in Premiere Pro, I applied a horizontal flip effect to it so that it mirrors, because that is what reflections do. Then position it behind the window and perhaps scale or move it into the correct place. Window reflections sit in the distance and they aren't too sharp because of the double glass, so that's why I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur to it. Finally, I decreased the opacity so that the reflection only reveals itself a tiny bit, and I would change the blending mode to linear dodge so that the lights would pop out better and the darker areas get removed. And this way we have a natural reflection. And that's how you blow up yourself and peek into buildings. Thanks for watching and stay creative. Hey guys, I've got a special announcement. Because of the holidays and all, we had to hire someone new at the CityCom team. So I would love for you guys to meet Justine, our new assistant. Here she is. Janik, what the hell? What are you doing with Justine? Get back to work! <laughs>